Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start an interesting topic that is S matrix parameters. S matrix parameters, which are very helpful and easy and very important in the case of magic T junctions. Okay, all the waveguide components must have these S matrix parameters. Okay, so that it tells what is the amount of signal that is reflected back. What is the amount of signal that is incident and what is the amount of signal reflected back? That relation is given by this parameter S. So, S scattering matrix parameters. S stands for scattering matrix parameters. S stands for scattering. Okay, so when the scattering occurs, when a signal or anything touches a particular place, that signal or something that is reflected back. Suppose if you take a water, bowl of water and pour at a wall, okay, at first, then what happens? The amount of signal will be, the amount of water, some amount of water will be reflected back, scattered and remaining water will be split into small amount and uh, they will fall in different places. So, scattering matrix is nothing but it is a parameter, a scattering ma matrix parameter, yes, it defines what is the amount of reflected signal and what is the amount of power that is being incident inside the waveguide. Okay. So, let us see with the help of a diagram. So, uh, see here, all the A's, A1, A2, A3, A4 and so on, N, all these represents represent the incident wave here a represents a represents incident wave a represents incident wave that means it goes inside the waveguide and B represents reflected or we can say output wave. Output wave. Okay, it is incident or input wave. Okay, so see here, consider an N port microwave network. Consider N port microwave network. N port is nothing but it is having N number of ports. Okay, this is first port, this is second one and this is third one and this is the nth port. It may be a 4 or 5 or 6 or so on. Okay, in this, if the incident, the power incident in this first port, if it is having perfect mix matched, perfect matchly with the characteristic impedance, then the entire signal will go A1 into the and port network. Suppose if at all any in, uh, mismatch occurs, then the signal will be reflected back and it will be treated as B1. So, B A1 is nothing but the power incident at port 1. B1 is nothing but the power reflected from port 1. And similarly, A2 is nothing but the power incident at port 2 and B2 is nothing but the power reflected from port 2. So, similarly, A n, B n is nothing but A n is the power incident in port n and B n is nothing but it is the power received from, sorry, power reflected or output from the port n. Okay. So, as the microwave junction is a multi-port junction, microwave junction is nothing but it is a multi-port junction. What is the uh, microwave junction? Nothing but E and T junction, hybrid junction. So, likewise, we have different, different junctions are there. The main purpose of this junction is a multi-port junction. The power relationship between the various ports are defined in terms of a matrix called this scattering matrix. Okay. So, I will tell here. Yes. The microwave junction as yes, the microwave junction is a multi port junction 
द पावर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरियस पोर्ट्स द पावर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरियस पोर्ट्स आर डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म इन टर्म्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म कॉल्ड यस मैट्रिक्स और वी कैन से इट इज ए स्कैटरिंग मैट्रिक्स so scattering matrix is nothing but it is a square matrix giving all the power combinations between the input and output ports scattering matrix is a square matrix giving all the power combinations all the power combinations between input and output ports okay so scattering matrix what it will give it gives the relation between it gives the relation among the ports which relation power combinations okay between the input and output ports the relation between the scattering matrix and the input output ports at a different ports can be obtained for n port microwave junction as shown in the figure same figure whatever i have drawn there the same for can be extended to up to n ports so an is nothing but it is the amplitude that is being instant and bn is the amplitude that is reflected back now if the ports are properly matched with the junction there will be a reflection from the junction which is zero okay if i will write in the contrast way if the ports are not perfectly matched not perfectly or properly matched with the junction with the junction there will be reflection from junction back towards the ports towards the ports see here if the ports are not perfectly matched something impedance mismatch is there so there will be definitely reflections are there those reflections will be coming back towards the ports so the scattering matrix s yes, is defined as is defined in relation to these incident and reflected voltage waves what i have stated earlier a to b to like that okay so the scattering matrix is derived as the scattering matrix or yes matrix so as it is a matrix you need to represent that to in square brackets scattering matrix is defined in relation to these incident and reflected voltage waves as see here it is simply the ratio b reflection matrix is equal to scattering matrix s yes into a s into a see b is equal to s into a simply we can write it as b is equal to s into a but b is nothing but it is a matrix that is equal to s is nothing but it is a matrix 
and A is nothing but it is also a matrix. So, simply B is equal to S into A that we can write it as S is equal to B by A. S is equal to B by A. So, what do you mean by B? Suppose if there are N number of ports are there, N number of B's are there, N number of A's are there. Okay. So, it has to be written in such a way like this B1, B2, B3 and so on. Your numbers. B1, B2, B3 and so on. Bn. Okay. That is equal to scattering matrix. How many ports are there? N number of ports are there. So, N number of ports, N by N, it is a size of the matrix. So, S11, S12, S13 and so on, S1N, S21, S22, S23 and so on, S2N. And similarly, like this, we will be having SN1. S n two, S n three and so on. S n n. Okay, so this is the scattering matrix that is originated from this S matrix properties and S matrix concept. Into A for A, how many ports are there? There are also n ports. So n number of A's are there. A one a2, A3 and so on, An. <laughs> okay. So, this size is N by N and this size is N by 1. So, that the resultant size will also be N by 1. The resultant size is also N by 1. Okay. So, the specific element of this S matrix Sij, suppose if you are talking Sij, then Bj by Ai. That is the scattering coefficient due to the input ith port and the output from the jth port. Okay. See. S matrix. S matrix. S i j is equal to. B i by. A i. That is. The sufficient the scattering the scattering coefficient due to due to input at ith port and output taken from jth port output taken from jth port okay so scattering matrix are having such advantages or the normal uh, different types of other transforms other matrices so s yes, matrix are scattering matrix so that is equal to b by a generally it is written as b is equal to s into a so b is a n port device that's why n number of reflections are there and if our n port device n number of incident waves are there so a1 a2 and so on a n b1 b2 b3 and so on b n Whereas, the relation between this incident input and output that, uh, that is given by this S matrix. See, what is this? This is output side. And this is the S matrix. And it is nothing but incident matrix. 